Hi everybody, it is a beautiful fall day here in Geneva, Switzerland. Now today I'm gonna to take you guys to an amazing location. We're going to the terraced Laveau wine vineyards that sit at the edge of Lac du Léman and rise up the terraces 100 meters or more. It's a challenging location because there are so many different things to shoot, but to find an intimate composition of an individual subject I think is gonna be really challenging. And just to find a composition of any subject is gonna be really challenging. So let me go downstairs, get my gear, and let's get going. All right, so I just got up to the platform and I'm waiting for my train and I'm thinking about how I'm going to be going to a spot that I haven't been before. Yes, I saw it quickly while passing on the train, but I have no idea if this composition is actually gonna work for me. There could be any number of reasons why it doesn't quite work out. And I think one of the things that I'm gonna to need to keep in my mind is a plan B, to be looking for alternative vistas or compositions in case the waterfall that I'm hoping is beautiful in there and frames up nicely doesn't work out. All right, everybody, we have arrived at the beautiful lakeside Swiss town of Riva. I will try to give you guys a bit of the view behind me. Beautiful uh, Lac du Léman, more commonly known as Lake Geneva. All right, so the train platform is just behind me, but it's what's in front of me that's awesome. All right, so trudging up through some vineyards here, walking up a little bit of a hill. And as always, it is extremely gorgeous. But as always, I kind of feel like I'm struggling to find a composition. If I can just get up above the little high here, you can see it's, it's, it, it's not that it's not gorgeous, it's just a challenging environment. But I mean, one of the reasons I'm here today is to try to improve as a photographer. And yeah, this is my second video you think I would choose a place where I feel like I could have some success. No, I'm choosing a place that I failed a bunch of times. So we're gonna hope for the best here. So I'm trying to head up through the town because this is where I think I will come to a vantage point that allows me to see uh, see the waterfall and hopefully find a composition there. I feel like I'm never going to find this waterfall, but the view here is really too amazing not to share with you. So I've stopped and I'm gonna grab some footage to show you. Sure sounds like a waterfall to me. I don't know if there's a composition here somewhere, but we found the waterfall at least. And my hopes are diminishing. <laughs> 
So the trail brought me down here. And you can see the waterfall there. It's not exactly as picturesque as I was hoping. However, I'm gonna go up these stairs here into this vineyard area and see what I can see. And if there's a composition, great. If not, I'm gonna find a plan B. I've made my way up these terraces and I'm really struggling to find a composition that I like. It's just not really working out kind of the way that I would have hoped that it would. Here, I'll put the camera down and I'll show you. Uh, this image isn't terrible. The light's very golden and I, and I actually really quite, I, I really quite like the contrast between the blue in the sky and the yellow. The problem is it's the waterfall is technically over there, but as you can see, it's not going to catch any light. It's just going to get darker the lower the sun goes. Not to mention the fact that if we come to the left, that's where the sun actually is. So even if I did like a wide shot, something like this, I'm going to end up with a problem of double subject. I think I might take an image here just to have something, but I think I'm going to walk up and try to find something before the sun goes down. I did like five days in the Alps not long ago, 1,200 meters. And right now, this in some ways feels harder. Okay, I'm out of breath. The sun is dipping below the mountains as we speak. There is some clouds that have a chance to light up, so. I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm just gonna take what we see here. Okay, this is going to have to be a double exposure here. Um, so I'm at about uh, 20 millimeters, but I'm gonna go ahead and shoot this at F8, exposing this first shot just for the highlights so they're not blown out. Now we're gonna take our second shot here, exposing for the shadows. I'm not looking to, I don't want them too bright. I just want them not clipped. This looks good here. Now I wait. Now I wait and see, and I think it will, if the clouds that are in the sky here catch some light. Things are happening here. Um, I actually kind of like this photo. It's just simple, but I really like the the, the, the kind of the silhouette of these cute little trees. So I think I'm, I think I'm just going to go for this. Let's just, you know, kind of kind of be simple here and not try to fancy it up too much. All right, I'm going to take one shot, just like this. So any light that was in the sky is basically gone now, uh, or just, just about gone. The pinks that these high altitude clouds had caught is, is faded, um, and now we just have a nice pleasant orange glow on the horizon. I didn't have like the big pop of sky that I had in my first video. I feel like when you do landscape photography, you sometimes have to get by on, <laughs> you have to subsist on very little nutrition if these things that you, whatever they are, whether it's the experience of the photo, when you feel like you have a victory, that may have to last you quite some time until your next victory because you're dealing with Mother Nature. And sometimes the light just doesn't do what you think it's gonna do, the composition doesn't, gonna, doesn't work out the way you hope it might, but you just kinda have to get used to that. I feel awesome, I'm so glad I was able to get out and use my equipment and practice landscape photography, and I'm really happy that you guys came with me. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.